We're gearing up here for the 2024-25 trapping season. It's September in New Hampshire and we start trapping in October. So we're getting all of our traps in order. We're making sure that everything is tuned up, ready, got trap tags, all that. And finally, we're dipping traps. And so dipping traps is when you put a layer of something on your trap to protect it from the elements. So we have, for example, here we have a brand new MB750 uh, from this season. This is one that we used last season that was dipped uh, and prepped and had a year of trapping on it as well. So you can see how it holds up with that dip on it. So the purpose for dipping it is to, again, protect it, but it also helps camouflage your traps. Um, you know, you don't want that big shiny trap out in the marshes with its beavers or for trapping coyotes, having that shiny thing that could catch their eye. So it's about protecting the trap from rust, but it's also about helping to camouflage it. So we use for dipping, and again, this is the last step in the process. So our traps have been tuned. We've got our trap tags on them. And so that's your, your identifying tag. You wanna make sure you have one of those on every single one of your traps. And they're ready to go. This is just the absolute last step. So we use a product called Speed Dip. Uh, and it, you mix it with gasoline. And the idea essentially is that gasoline helps us become more viscous. You put your trap in there, the, the dye yeah. oh, it becomes less viscous. Uh, you put your trap into the solution. When you pull it out, uh, the, the dye stays on it, but the gasoline evaporates off. And there is no gasoline smell associated with this. If you're trapping canines or anything that have kind of, that are more tuned in, you do want to let them dry for a while. But the general process, again, that's what we're using. I have this jug of dip that's got years and years worth of dip in it. Um, so I just store it in a, in a gasoline can so that, you, you know, it doesn't evaporate off. Uh, you want to shake it really good. I've already shaken it a bunch before this. We're going to dump this out. And I have a bunch of dedicated stuff. It's really messy. You want to make sure you're doing this outside. Uh, so I start with the dip from last year. And it's worth adding. You, you should wear, one, put a tarp down. Two, wear stuff that you don't mind getting absolutely nasty. Uh, three, you, you have to do this outside. You're using gasoline. Um, when you're doing it outside, make sure it's somewhere where it can hang for better part of a week, two weeks, once you're finished, uh, out of the elements. So, you know, if you, or as long as you have a couple days without rain, but you just, you want them to dry and be able to kind of get tacky uh, before they're exposed to any elements. So we're fortunate that we have our pole barn here that we can do it in. So this is a bunch of dip from years previous, like I said. Um, I'm just checking the bottom to make sure because that dip will, will settle to the bottom. So I'm going to add a little bit of new gasoline in here. Just to mix this up and help get the remainder of the stuff off the bottom there. And then I'm also going to mix up that one last quart that we have just to show you guys exactly what that looks like new. So because I have this solution, if I was doing this brand new, like if I didn't have this solution, um, you know, I'd want to get a bucket. Uh, you know, I'm thinking five gallon bucket in my head for mixing it up, but you want to make sure that you have enough size to get your full trap submerged. You know, we're going to be we're going to be dipping our body grips here later. And so I want to make sure I have enough to get that whole trap in. So depending on what size trap you're doing, you can tailor the bucket that you use. Uh, but again, we're going to get into this and I'm going to dump this straight into the solution and then I'm going to put a gallon of gas in behind it and mix it up really, really good. This is from 2021, but this stuff really doesn't go, it doesn't go too, uh, doesn't go bad. You can get this from most, most any trapping, uh, you know, products or parts store online, you know, F&T, uh, Fur Harvesters, Sterling Fur, I'm sure sells it. And there's also, there's a bunch of different ways to dip traps. You hear a lot of people using uh, walnut hulls. There's all sorts of ways. This is just how we do it. 
So this is going to go straight in. That's the actual die. That's the actual material that uh, is going to be stuck, you know, left on your trap. You can see there's a little bit of kind of dust on that. I probably should have dusted off the top. So I'm going to put some gas in here. You want a gallon of gas. And so, and this is a quart. So I'm going to do four of these. Uh, you can also, I've used this in the past, just a handy dandy uh, gallon jug. But by using the gas and pouring it out of here, I'm helping to get this dip, you know, the rest of it out of the trap. Because it is, it's, you know, it's not the cheapest thing out there. Just want to make sure you get as much of it as you can. And you also want to use as high test gas as you can possibly afford. You know, gas isn't cheap these days, but the um, higher the octane, the better, because it evaporates a little bit cleaner. There's less particulates in there. Just like for your motors, just runs or just works better. So that's three. I'm gonna do half and half on this last one and shake it up, really try and get as much, as much out as I can. You'll see I'm wearing gloves. I'm also wearing clothes that I don't mind getting some, some dip on because you will, you will end up getting messy during this process. I'm gonna do that one more time. And we've got just about all of it off. It's okay to be a little, um, you know, a little heavy on the gas because again, the whole idea is that is that you're just trying to get the, the dip to stick to it and that gas is gonna evaporate later. All right, there's that. I got this glove completely covered, so in order to save the staining on my hands, I'm gonna see if I can't get ahead of that. But that was the messy part. The rest of this we do with a stick. So we'll get this stuff out of the way and we'll start, we'll mix this up really good. So I've got that new dip in there, so I really want to make sure that I'm stirring and stirring and stirring. And this is a, this stick that I have right here, just an old beaver stick with a hook that's uh, put in the end of it. And you'll see why, because again, you don't want to be handling this stuff. You want to handle it as little as possible. So I have some traps from last year that I don't need to dip. I didn't use them a ton. This is an example. This is a number three coyote trap. And so this is good. It's, it was dipped last year. I, I used it for a couple days. I don't need to re-dip that. I'm going to reassess my traps because you don't want to gum them up too, too much. You are putting kind of a, a gummy material on them. But this uh, Victor stop loss here, you know, this is an older trap. It was definitely prepped a while ago, but you can see that it's got some rust on it. And so this, this is a perfect candidate um, for getting dipped. So we're gonna do that. These guys, my coon cuffs, I have dipped in the past. Um, they didn't take it well, to be, to be frank. I wasn't really happy with it. So I got some new Z traps this year that are white, we're gonna try that out. I'm not gonna dip those. But my, you know, these brand new, these brand new MB750s, we are gonna dip. And if you're dipping brand new traps, you wanna make sure that you've got all the packing grease off, you've got them tuned up how you want them to be, you've got your trap tag on it how you want it to be. We're gonna get it in there. Move it around, swish it around, make sure that you get that dye all over it. Shake it off a little bit. And then I'm going to hang it up on one of these screws. 
screws here. And then it's going to drip dry there. And so again, this is why you want to you want to make sure that you have a tarp down and you don't have anything that you really care too, too much about. Um, so once again, it's easy, it's simple. Once it's all mixed up, just get your trap in there. You know, really moving around, make sure you get that dye on it. Drip dry and then hang it up. And I'm gonna hang these for, oh, anywhere from, these will probably hang at least two weeks. Uh, just because of the time, we have the time to do that this year. But it's that simple. Uh, I also dye, I will dip other things that join us on the trap line. Like we got this wire basket here that uh, I just, it, we, we end up using it for a bunch of different stuff, but you know, it's made of metal and it's, it's gonna be exposed to the elements. So I'll dip that. give it a really good shake. So you can use this for kind of protecting anything that's going to be on your trap line. Let's see if I can't put it up there without it falling over. And I would advise you to wear gloves because you're going to end up having to touch something and it's messy. But that's all. That's uh, speed dip is that easy. And this is kind of the last step we have before preparing our trap for the trap line.